The Danish word for thank you is tak. Tak for mel. Mang tak. Tak for yelp. Tak for putting a roof over my head. Tak for treating me as part of the family since the day I moved in. Tak for all the laughter, love, and kindness. However, the word tak just seems inadequate on its own. Simply saying tak to my host family? How can three letters communicate the gratitude I feel for a semester full of warmth and compassion? Nothing I can say feels like it's enough. The Silva Anderson family lives about 40 kilometers north of Copenhagen in Hillerud. My roommate James and I are the 14th and 15th DIS students, over four years of opening up their home to American students. With five kids ranging from ages 2 to 19, there is never a dull moment in this lively house. Annihilating Yoni and Sebastian of FIFA every day never gets old, and the pure excitement and joy Matthias and Emily show me when I walk in the door brings a feeling that can't be beat. I can't help but smile as soon as they latch onto whichever one of my limbs happens to be within reach. As this semester draws to a close, people are seemingly always asking me what has been the most rewarding part of the last four months. And there's not an easy answer. I've had an amazing abroad experience, from getting to know the city of Copenhagen and assimilating into its culture, to learning how to create my own video game, to experiencing the passion and excitement of an FC Barcelona game live, to singing Bavarian drinking songs in Munich. However, more than anything I've learned in the classroom or seen on my travels across Europe, my relationship with my host family is what I will value over all else. After all, anyone can visit Denmark, buy soccer tickets, or take a trip to Oktoberfest. But only a blessed few have had the privilege of experiencing life with this special family. From the sit down, home cooked meals, to the trips to Tivoli, to playing video games, football, and dolls, to watching rom coms like Paper Towns and Hitch with my helplessly romantic host brother. Ladies, he's single. I will always treasure each and every moment I spent in this happy home. After spending so much time away from my own house these last couple of years, I had nearly forgotten just how important family was to me. My experience in my homestay has given me lifelong relationships, deep cultural immersion, and a renewed sense of appreciation for my own family back home. I am uh, thankful for all of you guys and that we're all here together. Um, and that we were able to spend such a great time in Denmark these past couple of months. It's been really, really fun. So thank you, both of you. Okay, I took words out of my mouth. There's an old Danish proverb that tells us the road to a friend's house is never long. Thanks to my family, I can guarantee that this will not be my last time in Denmark. And the road from Albemarle Street in Arlington to Helsevi and Hillerud will always be a short one. So, instead of somebody saying thank you, Instead of saying talk, I will say this instead. Into Nastagan, or in English, until next time. When I close my eyes, I see you, no matter where I am. I can smell your perfume through these whispering pines. I'm with your ghost again. It's a shame about the weather, but I know soon we'll be together. And I can't wait till then. I can't wait till then.